What's up guys? Steve here again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. Did you hear that? Sounds beautiful. Here we have the Toyan X-Power V8 four-stroke engine. There'll be more links and more information about this uh, as we go on. They sent me out this one to show you guys, set it up and show you everything you need to know. Like I said, the links will be in the description for more information if you want to go check it out. But let's see what you get inside this particular package. Toy and themselves sent me this one pre-assembled. But like I said, it comes as a kit. You put it all together, it comes with a base and all this other cool stuff. But check out this. Beautiful, isn't it? How gorgeous are these? You can run this just as a desktop model if you want. But like me and other YouTubers out there, Dennis, we'd like to try to put these in RC cars, they are beautiful to look at, they sound fantastic, but I think to do it justice, you want to put it in an RC car itself. Now at the front here, you can see here, this is your water pump, so it goes in one side and comes out the other. You run it through a radiator and kind of keeps the engine all nice and cool. So obviously you've got two banks, four cylinders down this side, four cylinders down that side with these awesome exhausts and headers that just really look really nice. Now. Obviously, this motor is CNC machined, beautifully uh, anodized aluminium there, lovely blue color. So the Toyan V8 X Power. Dual carburetors, this is your air filter. Nicely done there. And there is your double car setup. Nice and easy to tune, but I've had no issues with these guys in the, uh, in the past. Toyan make fantastic engine. The single cylinder, the dual cylinder, the rotary, single rotor, dual rotor. You can just see, I'll leave a link up there if you want to go check out that video. At the back here, there is your starter motor there hooked up. The flywheel is just there, nice and heavy. Got a nut there. And you can also obviously attach uh, a normal RC nitro style clutch on the back if you want to uh, hook it up to a car. Down here, because this is a four stroke nitro engine, the oil is in the fuel, so it doesn't have a separate sump. The, the oil is in the fuel, it burns out and it, the excess it comes out this little port here, if you haven't seen that before. Very interesting, but that's how it gets us lubricants. I don't want to bore you too much with, you know, just looking at it. Let's set it up on a stand. Like I said, uh, the Kickstarter campaign comes with a CNC base, all the, everything you need to get it going. So like I said, links will be down below for that. This one came prepared. Let's put it on something I've made up and let's get it started. Okay guys, here is my makeshift stand, but it has everything that you need to get this guy going. Like I said, in the uh, release version, it'll be a kit, it'll, everything will be a CNC stand and everything you'd have your, your radiator, uh, your like your radiator tank and also your fuel tank will be all there. So this is what I come up with, but this is exactly what you need. So you have your radiator, just the overflow tank, your fuel tank just here. Spin it around, as you can see, there's two pipes going on the side here. And that is for your coolant so it comes in there is your pump here your water pump goes into one bank goes back to the other and then spits back out here and just does a cycle now for added cooling you can also add a fan up there to the radiator that'll be fantastic and that'll keep it really nice and cool now also we need a starter system so your igniters you have four on one side four on the other and also your fuel, you can see two carbs, one and two. I'm using 25% nitro, seems to work well with this, and that is what I have, and I've had no issues with that in the past. You notice at the front here, like I said, because it's a four stroke nitro, this is a little overflow tank for the oil. Once it does its job, ignites, does all the bangs, it comes out the bottom of here, and it, the excess, you can get captured or just leave it open. For the igniters, I always use a 3S battery for the starter. Normally use a 3S as well, uh, just so it spins it over easier. So let's let's go, let's plug it all up and let's see how it runs. Just showing you there, there is the oil. Now I'll put it back in here. Start it back up again. That sounds so good.
moved up there because it's running out of fuel. So I bring it down here. You can see the fuel tank is empty, but like I said, this is fresh out of the box. This uh, is all settings, which will be good for kind of more on the richer side to lubricate everything when it's all tight and all that. But uh, yeah, you can lean it out because you can see a lot of fuel, but this is the fun of these four stroke nitro engines. So lean out that carb, it'll get more fuel efficient as time goes on and everything kind of loosens all up. But uh, let's put some more fuel in there. All right, fueled up, ready to go again. Igniters are all on. so good awesome how cool is it you can see the all the coolant running through there really good this is all just excess fuel like i said it's still running in still rich this is what you expect a lot of people say oh it doesn't rev out too high that's because you don't want to go crazy and lean it out and have no oil in the uh cylinders that's the whole point of it if you uh this isn't a normal uh, four stroke with the oil has got its own separate sump it's got to use the fuel so you got to keep that in consideration when you're running these. But uh, yeah, let me lean that out a little bit more and start it up again. You go guys how awesome is that they notice there's a bit of cool in there that's because just the i don't think that's sealing that uh, cap there so just running through but how great does that sound definitely running rich and that's why it's a lot of excess fuel but it definitely has a pretty high rpm there i'll probably lean it out it started a few more times it definitely is hungry on that fuel but what do you expect good eight cylinders going through there guys links will be down below what do you guys think of this toy Ann x power v8 God, I love him. I love all these type of things. I'm so glad Toyan, uh, you know, doing this. I've got the single, the dual, the rotaries, you know, it's fantastic. And for a great price, in my opinion, for what you're getting, CNC machined, you know, what more could you want? So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I certainly do. I love all these things. Thanks, Toyan, for, for uh, setting this out. Really appreciate that. So thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Any questions, leave them down below. Share this video. Share the love of this awesome V8 model engine.